Got some hauls to share with you guys. Um, this is a, a small-ish haul compared to recent hauls. I was like, you know what? I, I should shoot a haul vid before it gets too big and I'm doing another big-ass haul. Uh, making it look like I be hauling way too hard. Um, but those raw deals, damn it. <laughs> but this time, there is no raw stuff. Uh, and, and those are not part of the haul. That's just background noise. Those are, uh, if anyone still remembers G4 TV attack of the show. Yeah. Some ladies from G4 TV and autographs. Anyway, first up, um, so I'm still, I, I kind of, I kind of consider myself still fairly new to Masterverse, even though it was many months ago now that I, I decided to get into it. But at this point, even though I've amassed quite a few i still only have three open um and i've been saving a stag of them to do like an opening party but uh so i decided to pull the trigger on evil lynn uh i think she was only like 11 bucks on amazon so yeah it looks really cool this is the revelation version uh and the first version but i like it and then some dc multiverse uh got the lex luthor power suit um off of amazon for I want to say around the same 11 12 bucks um i i gotten that one at ross which is really cool to get with the throne but i don't like that version of lex not familiar with it at all uh this is you know a little more traditional and his power suit looks badass from target.com well actually no not dot com uh the the mobile app um gold label so i think this is target exclusive uh supergirl she looks really good sorry like the 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 reflection is terrible right now where i'm sitting but she looks really good like minor complaint with no skin exposed on on the the upper legs um otherwise she looks really good i'm excited this is one of those ones that i felt was worth uh pulling the trigger at a uh, full retail price on so we'll see and a little more mcfarland dc goodness from the superpowers line it is batman in black um so you know i don't i'm not all in on the new superpowers you know i grew up on the originals and i, I still want to do a video showing my originals but you know batman in black <laughs> i just had to but this is one of those rare occasions where like i i just want to have it um i'm not really gonna open it and you know using my collection this is this will probably be a wall hanger and thankfully the card wasn't all bent or something it's a little it's curving but it wasn't like bent or damaged in packaging. And then last but not least, from Target, some Hot Wheels goodness. Um, there's some badass ones. I haven't picked up new Hot Wheels actually in a while. Uh, there just hasn't been much. I think the last time I got some Hot Wheels was in San Diego. And that was like maybe about a month or so ago now. But yeah, this, this Camaro, this custom Camaro just looks aggressive and badass. I mean, look at the artwork. Man, that looks cool. And then this... Um, Toyota Supra. It's a 1982 Supra. How cool is that? You know, you can't go wrong with vintage JDM. Uh, and then this Toyota Land Cruiser. Check it out. It's a treasure hunt. Yeah, cool. You know, it's it's a regular treasure hunt. But, you know, I, I don't find treasure hunts very often. So it's exciting to me. Um, and then this GMC Hummer. Um, this is actually... Uh, it's the red edition, so it's a Target exclusive. I don't know if it's, I'm not saying like it's rare or anything, but it is a Target exclusive. Um, and then Barbie. Well, it's funny because there's a story about the, um, the Barbie movie version of this Hummer that I actually saw but did not recognize at the time when I saw it in San Diego, and so I missed out on it. But anyway, this is even better. Finally, finally found that barbie movie corvette oh, i've been wanting this so bad um and just have had no luck and i've seen it on the secondary market but i'm like i ain't trying to pay those prices uh as much as i want it you know i'm, I'm stubborn like that i need stuff at if not uh retail prices a deal would be even better but i rarely am going to pay over retail price on something so, yeah, glad I finally found this. There you guys have it. Just a, a small-ish haul. It's not super small, but, you know, again, compared to how I've recently been hauling, especially at Ross, small-ish, I think it's fair to say. But, yeah, so, yeah, as always, hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks so much for watching. Truly, truly appreciate it.